What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I want to keep up with being really consistent, guys, with just the videos overall. I'm really investing a lot of time into the stream, so if you guys haven't been watching those, check them out. We do it on Twitch pretty much every day right now. And to the YouTube guys, we're going to be back. We will be having a dual stream for you guys tomorrow. We got a new team of the week. It's very exciting, so watch out for that. My YouTube guys that like to stream and Friday as well. So for the dual streams this week, for the guys that watch the channel on YouTube and really only tune into those ones, Wednesday and Friday will be live as well on YouTube. So really, guys, the video tonight, we're going to go over a lot that's kind of going on. We're going to talk about a couple of things kind of happening with the new team of the week tomorrow as obviously it has been leaked. Um, pretty much everybody has seen it. So we already know some of the cards that are in the team of the week. But moreover, I want to talk a little bit about the market with you guys. I want to go over an updated timeline because the video on Saturday that we posted about the market did really well. I want to give you guys an understanding of where my club is at, where I'm planning to go with it. And as always, guys, let me know how you guys are getting along with FC25. Uh, Look, I think for me this year, I really want to focus on just having a good time on the game with you guys, playing rush with viewers, um, just keeping the vibes high. I mean, it's never easy on FIFA for sure, but that's my goal this year. Objectively, I want to make coins, pack good players, and just go with the vibes. That's really what I'm after this year. Nothing too crazy. Obviously, it's going to come out that the rage moments and stuff, but I'm going to try my best to do that. And also, huge shout out to all you guys that showed love on the PC pack to glory first owner account we posted the first video if you haven't seen that go watch it uh it was really really fun and uh this is the main account really i mean i'm gonna be playing on both a lot this year but ps for the trading and the main so this is where my team is right now um i have players like open i really like this team i got into division three today with this team uh the market today really was down this morning and i think it just kind of went back up a little bit open is back up to 50k now uh, Adeyemi was like 101 when I woke up. Then he went down to like 90. He's back to 97. So we have seen a bit of a recovery with the market. And I'm here to tell you guys that because I got into Div 3 on this account, I'm actually just going to keep these rewards because I'm not even going to have time to get into the higher division because I'm going to be grinding the PC account tomorrow. So Adeyemi, I think I'm going to hold on to is potentially an investment because he is really good. But a player like Openda, who's chilling at 50K right now, I'm actually going to take the money on him, and I'm going to explain and talk to you guys why. And this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. Look, we're going to be going over a lot with the market in this video, so just get ready for that um, because we're going to be go over, going over a ton. Doku went down to 20 today. He recovered. So basically, people were coming into my stream today saying, yo, the market is dying. Why is this happening, right? And I'm going to explain to you guys kind of why the market earlier today was going down a lot. So basically, a lot of the players... In the mid-tier meta and the high-tier meta went up a lot. But now that next tier of player can't really afford to get that card, right? So there's a lot of instability with those cards and the prices. Now, there's also a couple other variables, right? I'll tell you what the other variables are. Number one, tomorrow, you know, we've got a new team of the week. But really, there's starting to be some, some, some panic for the full release on Friday. And I'm going to kind of give you guys my predictions, what I think is going to happen with the full release on Friday, what I think is going to happen with prices. And we're going to go over all that stuff in this video. You guys will find all that information in this video. Uh, so hang tight. Let's see. Debinho was 22 earlier. And something really interesting about the women's players, it just seems like the women's players don't have the same... Uh, level of demand as they had last year. I don't really know what it is with that, but that just seems to be the trend. I don't know. They're just not, they're not really selling as well as they did last year. So look, Adiemi, you guys could saw, could see, I purchased him. Um, I actually really like him. So I'm actually going to keep him and I'm going to sell a player like Gakpo because I actually think a player like Gakpo might start to go down. I think this low small tier meta we may start to see this this price these types of cards starting to go down now i could be wrong but i think it's not a bad time to cash out on any of these cards that you know are your tradable um your tradable 82 83 84 meta i'm not saying all cards but i don't know if these cards are going to all sustain price um you know, as we head into tomorrow and as we head into Friday. We're going to talk about a lot of things on the timeline here. Um, so Adiemi, I'm going to keep. He's at 98K, and the reason I'm going to keep him is that he's actually going out of packs tomorrow. So I think he's going to actually rise. A lot of people seem to really like him. I think he's actually going to go higher. So we made a little nice profit on Openda. We got a couple other cards listed. I think I had some cards listed earlier. They may not have all sold. No, they didn't. So Swanson didn't sell either. I don't know if she's recovered a little bit. Um, she was down at 14. I couldn't sell her, and now she is 
Oh, she's 11. I must have not listed her the right price. So the women's just aren't really selling too much. So we're going to go over a couple of things. First of all, as I just said, there's a new team of the week tomorrow. And what happens with a new team of the week earlier on in FIFA? Um, basically, a lot of people go to the store and they open packs, right? And there is a lot of supply, especially when the new team of the week, these are the players that we have confirmed for this new team of the week tomorrow. We've got Vinny Jr., Wirtz, Son, Bremer, Diaz, Rafinha. I mean, this team of the week has found a way, in my opinion, to be probably better better than the team of the week we have from this week. This team of the week is nuts. Um, really, really, really crazy team of the week. Olise is going to be a really nice card. Rafinha is going to be a really nice card. Jackson's even going to be a really nice card. So Bremer, obviously OP. So a lot of people are going to go on and open packs tomorrow, which means there's probably going to be a lot of gold supply, right? There's not going to be a ton of people probably in the market buying cards tomorrow. And I think there will be a decrease in price in the afternoon tomorrow. It doesn't mean you have to panic sell for that time, but I do think that we will see prices tomorrow afternoon drop quite a bit. There might be a little panic before and then some window where they actually go up, but I think overall the supply is going to make the market probably go down. I mean, let's go let's go on flipping real quick and let's look at a couple players that, you know, have been going down a lot today and we'll talk through the reasoning of all this. So, we've got VVD here. He's down at 340. Um if we look at the hourly, he went so he was there was a panic sell earlier at 330, went back up to 360 and now he's starting to drop again, but he's still pretty stable, right? So, in my opinion, you know, what's going to happen is that we may actually see these cards go a little bit lower. And then I think on Thursday, there's a chance that they will rise. You know, Saliba, what? He was 230, went all the way down to 200. He's back up to 220, right? So there is a lot of recovery here. But I think tomorrow we will potentially see these cards dropping. And I actually think tomorrow is going to be a really, really nice time to buy some of these gold cards. And the reason I think that is, I'm going to explain to you why. A lot of people felt like the rewards were really worth in division rivals. And I know it's 15 wins or 45 points, whatever you look at with that, but they're going to bring a lot of coins onto the game. Let's look at division three, which is what I'm in. And on this account, this is what I'm going to be getting on Thursday. I'm going to be getting a 35 K pack, a 75 15 tradable, right? Those two combined, I would expect to make 20 K probably the worst from those two, right? And then 40,000 coins. So that's going to be 60 K for division three. And most divisions are going to be making a hefty amount off this reward. So I think Thursday, a lot of people after division rivals are going to probably use those rewards to upgrade some of the team, buy some players, and the market, I think, is actually going to be investable. I think you could probably invest in some cards tomorrow afternoon, gold cards, you know, that budget of like, Really anything probably, maybe let's say 20 to 100K that's kind of rare. Basically something that you would expect that not a lot of people pack that player and people want to buy that player from the rewards and that they will in turn go up, you know, maybe 5, 5, 6, 7%, right? So that's something, you know, th those types of players, you know, because I know you guys always really... You want examples and you want to hear what would that, you know, hey, what would be a good example of a player like that? You know, maybe Eder Militao would be a good example. He's not going to get packed a lot from rivals. And he might be at a point where, you know, he was down at 120 earlier, went back up to 130, 130. Maybe you get him at 110, 115, 100 tomorrow, 120. Maybe he rises up 10K, right? So, and there's profits on all budgets. You know, even Openda. I'm expecting there's a chance that maybe Openda does go a little lower tomorrow. And he's a good budget example, right? This is the perfect price of a player that's somebody could afford to get with their division rivals rewards use those coins buy this player right and then on thursday this player rises right so that's really what i expect i do think thursday there's going to be a little bit of a rise and i think it's investable it's an exciting time too i'm really excited for rewards day on thursday um you know we're going to be streaming and doing all that and there'll be a video let's talk about friday so guys friday is an interesting scenario because we have a promo and we have the full release so friday is going to be road to the knockout um, which I will tell you guys, in the recent couple years, right, Roll to the Knockouts is always a promo that is tough on the market, right? A lot of the time, this is an exciting promo because these cards are live, right? They can upgrade, and these are a lot of players that go in people's teams. What I will tell you is that if we look back at last year, right, and I would say one of the most in-demand you know, overall players that we have is going to be VVD, right? VVD, we just looked at him. You know, he's more expensive this year, but he's a player that everybody wants to get. Maybe we could put Saliba, right? So what I want to show you guys, well, actually, he's not a good example because he went out of packs. So let's take a look at who is a player that we could look at to see what happened. You know, maybe Sun is a good example, right? Sun's going to be out of packs this week, so we'll talk about why it's going to be a different scenario. But let's look at Sun last year. And Sun last year, it looks like, I don't think that team of the week was a team of the week one or two, was it? 
Oh my god, it was a team of the week too. I cannot escape this. Who is a player that's like this meta, like this tier that wasn't going to be out of packs last year? Let's look at maybe Vinny. But I think Vinny was really expensive, right? How much was Vinny last year at the start? Vinny was so much. Oh my god, I'm literally blanking right now. Bonmati. Let's see what Bonmati was cooking. Okay, Bonmati last year, right? She had a Centurions. I don't think that team of the week was team of the week too. Team of the week 10. Okay, so Bonmati last year, right? Let's look at the Friday, right? So this is the full release, right? Thursday, she's 244. Friday, she's 226. Saturday, she's 229. Sunday, she's 235. Monday, she's 265. Monday, she is 265. The reason I didn't want to look at Sun was Sun, I think, was out of packs last year. Um, I think Sun was out of packs, but like even VVD, who goes out of packs, right, with the Nike promo that comes out in the full release last year, right? What happens to his price, right? Friday, Saturday, he crashes. Sunday, he goes up. I think it's because the Nike players were similar in price. But essentially, what what I'm let's let's go real quick here because this is kind of we caught we kind of got a little confusing here for some of you guys, and I don't want you guys to be confused here. But what I'm trying to say and show you guys is like what's going to happen with full release is that we're going to probably have some really cheap prices on Friday. And then, you know, there's most likely going to be a really crazy spike. I think Sala, I'm, I'm really struggling here to find players that work for this like example. Let's look at Diani. So Diani with the full release, she was what, 118? And then she went up to 112 and 118. So Monday, there was a huge rise in the market. She did die uh, in price shortly after. So what you got to be careful of is that death shortly after. You're looking for players that are going to be stable. We look at Griezmann here, right? Griezmann with the full release was 84K. And then look, right? The coin injection into the market, full release. Somebody that is meta going to hold price even with being in packs. He goes up to 100, right? So Griezmann is a perfect example of somebody. I don't even know if Openda is a good example, but I think Griezmann is a perfect example of, we look at his price right now. You know, Griezmann is 104K. Um, earlier today, you know, he was what? 99 he's back up a little bit you know he'll probably dip down again but basically i think on friday afternoon there's going to be another huge opportunity to buy players i i really feel this way i think if you want certain players i think there's going to be a really nice opportunity in the afternoon on friday to buy players and i think you look at those prices monday tuesday wednesday the following week and they will all be up a lot and we're talking we're talking that type of player you know let's look let's look at eafc 25 players you know let's look at let's go to gold's and let's and let's talk through exactly the types of players we're talking about. We're talking about I think Sam Sam Kerr is a really good example. I think VVD is a good example. I think Salah is a good example. Smith is going to be a good example. Um Valverde, right? That that type of player. Griezmann, I mean, they're they're more expensive. Rudy, um Militao, uh I don't know about Virts, but that's the type of players that you want to be looking at, right? And then what's also potentially going to happen as well. I'm I'm not 100% about this, so this is something I want to check out. And, you know, this would be for some people with a little bit more of a budget. But let's take a look, if we can, at these road to the knockouts. Because what I remember last year was I think they were lowest on the first day. And then they went up a little bit, right? Because people wanted to get involved. And then I think they crashed the following week. But I think there was a trend where these guys actually went up a little bit after the first day. Um, let's take a look at team of the week. And then we look at one. Is that a, is that a thing here? Uh, no, that's not a thing. So let's go here. We're going to go on Footbin. We're going to go to team of the week one for this week, right? And we're going to talk about this to end the video. We're going to talk about this to end the video. But we're going to go to team of the week uh, right here. Boom. So... What I want to talk with you guys about with Team of the Week 1 is last year there was a couple cards that went up a lot out of packs, which actually makes a lot of sense, right? Because these cards go out of packs, there's no supply in the market. So usually cards that are not in packs are going to be really safe investments, right? Some of the players didn't do that well. Last year, I don't know, did Lewandowski go up a lot? He kind of went up a little bit, right? I mean, what, he went all the way up 172, he kind of hovered around 200, but Lamptey went to the moon, and that's because he was a fullback in the Prem, right? So come time with full release, he wasn't in packs anymore. He went up 20, 25K and was up at 100K. Karchawi went up a lot. So fullbacks always will do well as an investment. Karchawi went up a lot. She ended up going eventually to, what, 300K. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that with you guys and kind of like, hey, is anybody worth it? Now, obviously, you can see in my team, uh, you might be wondering, I already have Adeyemi in my team. You know, and I picked him up for 83K and I've been using him. And he's really good. I think he's going to probably go up out of packs. I do. I have Yamal as well, but Yamal is untradeable. So just so you guys know, Yamal is untradeable. Now, if we look at current prices of this team of the week, 
We have some guy like Benzema, who's really low. Messi's 300. Yamal is 94. Now, a lot of people don't love Yamal uh, because, <clears throat> because of the potential with the um, Rafinha team of the week coming out. It's not even potential, right? He's going to get a team of the week. But I think Yamal is going to rise out of packs. I just am not on the budget uh, to buy him. But there's a couple of players that in this team of the week I do really like to go up out of packs, you know. Most of this team of the week, you know, on the bench is fodder outside of Adeyemi and Zachariah. But I like Gabriel and I like Benzema. I, I'm not actually against Benzema either because I think Benzema has roll plus pluses, a really good shot. I think people will use him. So those two from my budget I like. Kevara was one of those that, yeah, he could go up. He could go up for sure, but I don't know if I'm going to bet my money on it. He had a card last year, and honestly, last year, his card didn't really go up. So I feel like you can't really go wrong with Gabriel as well as how well Arsenal is playing and how well he's been playing in real life. Um, he at the lowest this week, right? And today today I'm recording this on a Tuesday, so these guys go out of packs tomorrow. He got all the way up. Uh, he got all the way up to 48K, and now he's kind of back down again. And he's, he's really back down again. So this is actually, you know, for me as an investor, this is a really good time. And I don't even know, do I even want to buy a Benzema? 43K with a shadow. So we're going to buy that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in for that. I'm in for that for sure. And I think he's down a little bit because there was a center back Evo today. But I think there's a good chance that he'll go up a little bit out of packs. Benzema is one of those ones where, you know, but now Benzema's down. At 37K, which is quite low. I mean, he's been 40K flat all week. I, I think Benzema is one of those guys that kind of always goes up out of packs. And, you know, could you go wrong with him being French? I, I feel like you can't go wrong. So let's just go on the market and let's just see if there even is a Benzema for 37K. That seems really low. But if you want a safe bet in the market for something to go up pretty quick, I would say maybe a couple of these Team of the Week cards could be, could be a pretty good bet. I think Benzema is probably a little bit more fodder, though than Gabriel, but I don't know. Are we going to be seeing an informed Benzema hover around that 39K price point for that long? Probably not. Probably not. So, you know, just an overall summary, guys. I think the market, we're probably going to see it go down a little bit tomorrow with the supply. Um, long term, I think when we get to the earlier part of next week, you know, a lot of this stuff may go a little lower first, either tomorrow or Friday, but it's going to moon over the weekend. I think this weekend is going to be crazy for the market. We're going to see a lot of these cards just going up a ton so I would say, you know, make what you want with that information. If you want to go through the stress of selling and buying and trying to get cheaper cards, I wouldn't really do that. Um, I wouldn't really do that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video tonight. If you did, drop a thumbs up. We'll see you in a video soon. Peace.